y'all know that white boy that went inside that um, place and where they shoot shoot them black people, right? You know, nobody said nothing. No black people stood up. No basketball players. No football players. No black nothing. You know why? Because we don't have no black leaders. But when that stuff happened with George Floyd. Everybody wanted to get up and say Black Lives Matter, Black Lives Matter, right? Everybody was mad. Everybody was this. They was protesting all this stuff like that. You understand what I'm saying? Let me tell y'all, this is this whole thing is a game, all right? So, therefore, my thing is this. If that white boy shot somebody in your family, black people in the United States so weak, they go pray. They go pray to this book, the Jesus, this God. Let me tell you something. Before your people could even read English, do you know what they was praying to? Nope, you don't. Black people started praying to God and Jesus because the white people gave it to them to pray that. To pray, let me tell you something. If you pray to the same God that the people who don't fucking like you for the racist people who hate you, same God, why are you losing and why are they winning? You know what I'm saying? Why you keep getting killed by white, white racist white people but ain't no black people killing no white people. Okay, when have you seen um, a black cop kill a white boy with a cell phone? Multiple times. I ain't seen it one time, honestly. But I'm just saying, right? You know, and it's crazy because it's like we got all these gang bangers, all these gang bangers in, in the United States. They ain't never shot up a nail Ku Klux Klan rally. Not once. They never shot up not now white cop that killed black people. Not once. Not not once. Okay, so my thing is I don't think black people should go around just killing white people because of skin color because you hate them. But if somebody shoot and kill somebody in your family that's white and target a store and only kill black people, when they clearly showed the video of the white boy seeing white people and he said, oh, oh, excuse me, oh, excuse me, and start going to kill black people. After he saw the white people. The white people that did die. Is because they were just in the way at that time. But what I'm telling you is this right here. He was 18 years old. And he went there to go kill black people. They want them organs. They want them organs and they want black people dead. He was 18 years old. Right? It's just that simple. The same thing happened at uh, this school. A 18 year old boy supposed to have been went. I think he was Spanish, supposed to have been went to the school and killed the kids. They want them kids' organs. Don't you know it's a lot of different sacrifices and a lot of different people inside the United States that's white that eat baby hearts, that eat baby legs, that eat baby arms, and different things like that? Like it's a lot of those out here. So this is a game. They send somebody in there to kill them, and that's it. Because guess what? When they go to trial, you're not going to know if that person really go to jail. They're going to put that person under an alias name, tell you he went to jail so y'all black people don't riot or don't protest because most of y'all ain't y'all just going to sit there and pray to a God or a Jesus. Then they're going to move him to another state, move him to another city, get him a new name, social security number, you ain't never going to hear about it no more. All that stuff y'all think happened to people when white people kill black people, you think that's justice? No, that's, that's, that's no justice in that. You know why white people get locked up in the United States? It's because they have to lock some of them asses up because to make it look like they're not racist. But why you think white people always get less crime unless they a poor white person? Poor white person get the same crime as us. You know what I'm saying? Because you poor. Because white people never met a white supreme person. Ain't no black person never met a white supreme person. And white people ain't never met a white supreme person. But what I'm telling you is this is all a game. Some of them, them, them doggone people are staged. They actors, act, crisis actors. You got to remember they're crisis actors that shit is not real the death and stuff is real but let me tell you something when they put something on the news they want you to know about it when they don't want you to know about something they're not gonna put it on there now i ain't gonna say all white people racist but i'm just telling you like this if a white boy kills somebody in my family we about to go chop up his whole family we about to let him see his whole family gonna die too we ain't sitting my family ain't gonna sit back and pray they ain't sitting back and praying and, oh, Jesus gonna make a way. Motherfucker, Jesus ain't made a way since over 2,000 years ago when they first started hanging black people by trees. Jesus ain't made a way since Thanksgiving when them white folk killed all them Indians out. Jesus ain't made a way since they brought some of them black people on slave ships, threw them in the ocean. Jesus ain't made a way since they first came to the United States. Jesus and God ain't made a way since then. You know what the only thing Jesus and God did? 
is let us keep getting fucked over by the white people because black people fucking weak. They'll kill each other and fight each other and let the white people do whatever to them. When have you ever seen black person just go kill up a white pe- person in a store? Just go to a store full of white people and just tear that bitch up. You ain't never seen it. None of the, the best motherfucker we had was the D.C. sniper. That was the best motherfucker we had that, that, that I was alive to see was the D.C. sniper. That's my nigga. Or whatever you want to say, my ninja. But that's my bros. The D.C. sniper was the best motherfucker we had out here. But all the rest of y'all little punk motherfuckers getting gangs, bloods, and crip, y'all trade. Y'all don't shoot nothing but your own kind. You shoot people that look like you, talk like you, dress like you, act like you, slang like you. You this to the same music. You ain't shooting the motherfuckers who, who really trying to destroy you. You ain't shooting them. You need to be shooting them white folks that's racist. When have you ever seen a gang member go shoot a police for killing another black person? Not see, so I encourage all black people, y'all better start standing up. Cause I'ma tell you, if a white police shoot my son, I'm probably gonna be a dead motherfucker. And it's gonna be everywhere on the news. Cause I'm about to shoot up every motherfucking white cop I see. And if you shoot somebody in my family, and you white, your family gonna die too. Cause we ain't sitting back and we ain't praying. So y'all gotta learn how to fight for something. Y'all let y'all kid get killed and sit back and pray. You touch my son, that gonna be the last day. Or whoever touch him, touch him. Or whoever killed him, kill him. You ain't shooting my child and think I'm going to sit back and start praying to a motherfucking book and some piece of words on some motherfucking piece of paper. Hell no. I'm about to pull the same move you pull. I'm about to load that motherfucking gun up. And I'm about to let that motherfucking spray. And if Jesus is real, I'll talk to that motherfucker another day. And God too. Because them some punk bitches to me. Them some fags. Them some fags. And for, for all y'all black people that just don't know, if you go look up white folk history, white folks, elite, white supreme people, pray to black deities. They don't pray to their white Jesus and that God they gave you that they, 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 they don't got a fucking wife, they got a fucking spirit. 